Hello everyone, I am Harshita and we are going to discuss about the topic cross currency receipt in account receivable today. So what is cross currency receipt? It happens when your customer remits payment in a currency that is different than the currency of the open debit item. In a simple language, it is like when we you have booked a transaction in one currency in receivable and now creating a receipt against that transaction in another currency. So it known as cross currency receipt fine so what are the steps which we need to follow here are first we will see daily rates for the cross currency exchange fine then we will enable multi currency in our bank account then we will create a transaction in one currency and we will create a receipt in another currency these are the steps which we need to follow in the cross currency receipt so we will go to the instance and see how we can perform a cross currency receipt there so moving to the instance After logging to the application, first we will go to the daily rates. So for that, go to task, manage, daily rates, and search, manage daily rates, manage daily rates, go to task, daily rates. Now we will search for USD from currency to currency INR, whether it is available for today or not. Rate type, corporate, and now search. So it is available for today, daily rate. So we will use this daily rate. If it, if it is not available, then you need to create the daily rates by using this spreadsheet, fine. Now, the next thing is we need to enable a multi-currency in bank account. So we will go to task manage bank account. Manage bank account, go to task. Fine, now search your bank. Select and click on edit. Here, multi currency account. This checkbox should be enabled. If it is not enabled, you need to enable this. Fine. So, next step was this. So, after seeing daily rates and enabling the multi currency, now we will create a transaction. We will create a transaction in USD and then we will book a receipt in INR. Fine. So for that, we need to go to Navigator, Receivable Billing. Now go to task list.
create transaction. So here you can see that all the uh, information is already filled as per the requirement. And now I will map my customer here. Give description, quantity, and the amount. And you can see the currency is USD. So we have created the transaction in USD. Complete and review it. So we have created transaction with the transaction number 65765. Now what we will do, we will create a receipt in INR. So we are navigating to receivable under that account receivable for creating a receipt. Now go to task list, create receipt. Give receipt method. Give receipt number. Currency will be INR. Enter an amount like it is seven seven three nine two zero. Fine. Now, if customer account, and site. Now, submit and apply manually. Now click on add application. It is taking some time. Now we will give a transaction number here. It was 65765. So like this, you can book a cross currency receipt. You just need to create a transaction in one currency and while creating a receipt, just change the currency. Like I have changed INR and enter amount in INR. The system will automatically collect uh, convert the accounted amount into USD and then add application. So this is how you can create a cross currency in this system. So this was all about it. Thank you.